Assalamu alaikum, I'm Zainab al-Shamari and today I'll be talking about how I believed in Imam Ahmed al-Hassan and how that changed my life. Um, so basically I believe that every person looking for the truth and is eager to find it will start somewhere. For me it started by asking Allah to show me the truth and it started specifically on the praying mat. But before getting into that, I'll give you an idea about my background. Um, so I come from a mixed background of a Sunni mother and a Shia father and uh, yes they were different we used to celebrate Eid on different days but there is something that we both believed in and that is we believe the Mahdi will come during the end of times so back in 2008 when we heard that Imam Mahdi has appeared um, we said yeah we believe in him and they told us that the son of Imam Mahdi has appeared and we were like okay uh, we'll be waiting for the Mahdi still. Um, however, the Ansai started talking more with my father and my father was basically talking to my mother about what they were telling him. Um, but for me, I was still in school and I didn't get all the information right. So I didn't know what was happening. Um, I didn't really understand what they were saying. Uh, but one day uh, during that same year about like few weeks um, from the day that my parents believed in the Imam uh, my father came home and he was saying that whoever astrays away from the Imani is from the people of hell and that was a checkpoint for me I was like okay so I need to take this more seriously it means there's something serious going on and I have to start my research uh, but I don't know where to start from. So basically on that same day, um, I prayed Al Maghrib and I just couldn't pull myself up. I was determined to be on the right path. So on that day, I asked Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala on that praying mat to show me guidance. I asked him uh, with tears running from my eyes, if he wants me to be a Shia, I'll be a Shia. If he wants me to be a Sunni, I would be a Sunni. And even if he wants me to be a follower of Ahmed al Hassan, I would be his follower. Whatever you want, Ya Allah, I'll be whatever you want from me. Uh, the thing is, I'm still young. I have no idea where to start my research, even though I know I have to do my own research, even though I know that I have to be looking for the truth, but I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. So please show me guidance. And that's how I prayed to Allah and asked him to show me guidance. And I felt like, I felt this you know calmness this um, certitude that the answer is Ahmed al Hassan and I knew that my prayers got answered but still I believe that I shouldn't be like just believe by saying that I am a follower of Ahmed al Hassan without even knowing um, his thoughts or his teachings or what he has come with so that's when I started uh, going to the website Al Mahdiyun and I printed all the books from the site so basically you can find it on almahdiyun.com or saviorofmankind.com um, so I downloaded all the books that were published back then in 2008 and I piled them on my desk um, starting from the earlier date till the latest one and um, I left them aside because I was still having like exams when spring break came I was like that's it all I'm gonna do is sit down and read and I really did that I started reading book by book but when I say reading it's not just reading I was um, I was using my pen to write notes um, I was using highlighter it was really like deep reading and uh, attentive reading and I believe that from time to time it's really important to do that kind of reading it's just like spring cleaning like yes you do clean your house like daily or every day or so but there is like a time in the year that you sit down and do deep clean to the house i believe the same thing is important to do with the books because we yes we might like read quotes here and there but we need to go over and over the books and read them again and again and by reading i mean reading attentively and you know getting notes and, um, and absorbing the book and that's what changed my life I really feel that uh, the teachings of Imam Ahmed al-Hassan taught me a lot 
There is a lot that I learned from Imam Ahmed Al Hassan, and that changed my life drastically. Um, for example, one of the sayings of Imam Ahmed Al Hassan, and I'm not saying it literally, but what I remember from it is that we become like bees, and bees they go from a flower to another to make their honey. And that's how we should be. Like we can go from a book to another to read different books from different subjects, different writers. And that's how we um, become more knowledgeable and that's how we become more open-minded and have more knowledge to, um, to be uh, you know, uh, people with strong um, personality, strong knowledge, strong uh, debating skills and so on. Like we can gain as much skills as we can when we read and when we uh, practice what we are reading. Um, so one of the things that I have learned from Imam Ahmed Al Hassan is the theory of evolution is right. It's not wrong because in school they used to tell us that theory of evolution basically says that humans were apes. And by listening to Imam Ahmed Al Hassan, I learned that you don't you don't just listen to others and just follow them. No, go by yourself look up the information, dig into it, research, do your own research, like don't depend on others and their thoughts. No, just be your own independent person by reading and by researching and by listening and by um, so on. Like you can always uh, form right ideas by digging deep into realities and into truth. Um, so just don't be lazy and like depend on others, but no, just sit and you know, make some efforts basically um also like the the quantum mechanics like i used to hate physics in school and now i just love it and uh, i have made videos like youtube videos explaining the, the uh, quantum mechanics which is like very modern physics and it's it's a it's pretty hard uh, to understand um however because atheism is um, spreading all over the world and people believe that um, science is proving that there is no God. So through this book, Atheism Delusion, it says that it's, science is fine. Like, go on, keep on reading. Science is okay. And it does not disagree with the um, you know, existence of God. So it's a pretty intensive book. I really like it. And I feel it has like deep knowledge. It just needs uh, concentration and uh, willingness to read and willingness to read and to understand it. Um, I also learned from Imam Ahmed Al Hassan how to be a human. So humanity is not just a world that anyone is a human. No, it's not like that. Basically, us as like people, we are made of this body, and this body is made of genes. Any other animal is also made of genes. So there is no difference between any person and an animal if we only eat, reproduce, and you know breathe, and sleep. What makes us humans is actually how much we practice humanity. And humanity, we practice it by not being egoistic, but by giving to others and by um, thinking of others and not just thinking of ourselves and our um, you know, community and just like disregarding others. You have seen what's happening today from um, you know, racism against black people, against um, uh, different sects of the community. Um, and different uh, parts of the underprivileged um, uh, people. So what I believe is that when we become humans, we don't look into the skin color or the uh, country from where a person comes from, but we more look into uh, how much of a human he is and how much he's practicing of that. Um, there is a lot that I've learned from Imam Ahmed Al Hassan and um, you might be hearing my baby's voice in the background. Uh, there's a lot that I have learned from Imam Ahmed Al Hassan and I just can't um, summarize it in a 10 minutes video. Uh, but I hope what I have said so far uh, made you curious and eager to do your own research.